this video, I'm going to show you how you can view your real link security camera footage using the Google Photos app on the Android smartphone. So if we open up the real link app to view our security camera, this normally takes around five seconds to load, so just be patient. Okay, once it's loaded, you can naturally take photographs by clicking the photo icon. You can also record live footage by clicking the camera icon. And of course, we can click the playback option down the bottom here to actually view all the motion sensor alarm triggers, which um, records footage depending on how you set up your camera and so on. You can also click on the download option up here in the right hand corner and click on download to download the footage of our choice. To actually then view that footage is quite a bit of a rigmarole. You have to actually find your files folder on your Android smartphone, such as here. You then have to scroll down and find the real link folder, which again is a hassle. Click on real link and then you can see your captures here. And again, they're kind of this all randomly displayed downloads and so on and your record and so on. So I personally hate that option. A good way to view all your photographs and the um, video footage that's been taken with your real link camera is to actually use the Google Photos app. So click on the Google's photo app. This is normally pre-installed with um, any Android phone. If it's not on your phone, just go to Google Play and download it from the App Store. Um, you will need a Google account naturally, but just it's a free download and so on. Um, every time you take a photo with your your smartphone, naturally all your photographs will be added to this section as well as your videos. It will not add your real link camera unless you give it give it permission. So to give it permission is quite a simple process. First thing we need to do is actually find out where your files are being installed. So open up the real link app again. And once that loads, click on the arrow in the top left hand corner. So just click on the arrow here. Once that does that, click on the three dashes. Then select settings and then find storage path here. So again, this may be the same for every single real link camera. I simply do not know. So just double check to make sure. So it gives you the, the recording path and the download path. What you're looking for here is just the last word in, in my case, capture and download. So then close that, then go back to your Google Photo app. So click on the three dashes in the top left hand corner. Then select settings from the menu. Then select backup and sync. You will need to enable this if it's not already. Just make sure the little dot is sliding across until it turns blue. Then around halfway down, you can see here backup device folders. So click on that and then you need to give it permission. So in my case, I'm looking for capture and download, so enable those two. Like I said before, this may be the default folder for every single real link camera. I don't know, so just double check. Once that's done, we should then see all the photographs and videos taken with our real link camera appear in the Google Photos app. So you can see here, just click on them. So it's a real simple way. Again, it stores videos as well, not just photos. So it's a real simple way of viewing your camera's footage. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.